Kelly. Hello. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Um, you've made me laugh and cry simultaneously yes. this morning, so well done. Brilliant. I love that. <laughs> I'm curious, when you're... Did you go through all of those tapes? I did go through all of those tapes, yes. My God, it was an absolute nightmare. But yes, I listened to every single second of them and um, and also had to read an enormous amount Ladies of literature. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with none other than so, Colin yeah. Farrell. You were using the book as a template to start with. I was using Valerie Lawson's book as a template. It's called Poppin' She Wrote, um, which is a brilliant, brilliant book. And then the tapes came along later, and then Richard Sherman came along later as well. And so there were lots of passes of the done of the script done as more and more people came forward with their stories about the actual time and being there. How substantially did the film change over that time then? It really changed quite a lot, actually. You know, um, having met Dick Sherman, he would say, well, this isn't necessarily correct, or Walt would never say that or this is how we moved or this is how we would have played the piano so yeah it did it, it changed a lot and uh, as a British screenwriter how difficult was it for you to become well to break through into the the machine um, you know what it wasn't I it's been a really strange one for me when I did break through it happened very quickly but I think what people don't see is like the seven years prior to that that I couldn't get anything going, you know. So I think we all kind of struggle and it just takes that one project to sort of break you through. And I was really, really lucky to have that happen with Saving Mr. Banks. Do you think being a, uh, somebody who is British as opposed to American telling a story, is sort of, uh, you know, it, there's, there is a somewhat a reflection of the outsider coming to Disney in the story. Do you think you brought something to it like that from us? Um, yeah, I haven't thought about that, but yes, I guess that that's probably right. I think um, I could see Hollywood from an outside perspective and and see all its craziness and and all of that kind of stuff, and maybe maybe that helped. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kelly.